Hey what's up guys, it's time for a new tutorial today and today we're going to make some cool animations with audio effects. So let's see here what we're going to do. That audio animation is what we're going to do. So let's start making a composition. And we can press OK there. Then we're going to make a background here. So we take a solid and we can type uh, BJ as a background. Then we're going to add some uh, gradient ramp here. And we can take the gradient ramp and we can drag it down. And we can change the colors. Uh, we want to have this a little bit blue gray and we want to have this black. And we're going to change it to a radial ramp. And we're going to move down this around here we can drag this down a little bit too like so so it gets a little bit bigger and to prevent uh, banding so can we set some scatter here to so set 100 like so and now are we going to add some layer effects here so we can add some new solid and we can call this audio so and now we're going to add some sound effect here so we can type audio and we're going to add audio spectrum like so and um, now that we need some music to this here so we're going into the project folder and drag in the, the music like so and then can we go to the audio again and we go to the control and here can we now select this audio like so we can uh, disable the sound so we don't hear the music while we make some configurations here uh, we need to uh, crank up the um, let's see here we need to set the height let's see this to let's see if 2500 is good enough i think so maybe we need to go forward in this song so it's um have some more movement in it Maybe even a little bit more. This is different for every song, so you have to see um, where you want. I want to have a lot of movement, so you can see here. Let's see here. That sound looks good, like so. Um, now we're going to um, go to this. We need a path now, so we're going to add a mask here. So we take the ellipse tool, and we can uh, enable this here. Right and save, so we can see this center here. And we're going to drag from the center. We drag out. If we then hold down the shift and control key, so can we make a perfect circle from the center? Like so. And uh, now do we go up here and we choose this path. We mask one. We can see now how does it look. Now can we see that the mask is um, blocking here? So we have to set the mask to, um, to none, like so. Zoom out again. Like so, maybe it's a little bit too much. We have to lower this. Let's see, 2000. Oh, it should be 2000, not 200. Like so, that's fine. And now can we do so? We can um, maybe limit. Um, here can you set the limits for the, the lower base and here can we put for the higher frequencies. I can think that around 100 is good start. You get a more even movement then, like so. Maybe is it a little bit too um, fast. So we can set the duration. So we can set this to, let's see, 200. I think that's more soft movement in the lines. And then can we see here the thickness? Um, I think it's good enough for now. We can maybe set the frequency bands. Uh, we can set this to 200 so we get more lines. Yeah, that looks much better, like so. And we can go down here. We need to have more colors here. So we can go here. We can set this to 1. Then you get the, all the colors between those colors. So the whole way is um, all the colors between. Perfect. So now do we have this. And uh, now can we go down, down here and we can set this to the B side. 
as we want it to, to be on the outside, like so. I think we're done here. We don't need to change anything more, I think. So now can we add some more effects here? We're going to add some um, radial blur. CC radial blur. So we can drag this down, like so. And now all we're going to add here, we're going to change this to fading and we can set this to 50, like so. So we get this fading out, like so, perfect. We're going to add some glow so we get more punch in the colors here. So we type glow and we add some glow here, like so. It's nice. Let's see. How does that look? Maybe are they going to war? Let's see how we can change. We can maybe size the size, the thickness. Let's see if we have this to two instead. I think that looks much better, like so. That's fine. So let's see here. But now let's begin to make a frame here. So where we do like so, we um, Press outside here, so we uh, unselect everything, and we go well up here and select the um, ellipse tool again, and we uh, can zoom in again, and we drag out the circle from here, and we drag out, and we hold down Shift and Control, so we do a perfect circle from the center, like so, and here do we want to have no fill, so we go in and set no fill, like so, and we want to have a stroke, so we just set or we should have a stroke, a full stroke, like so. And we want to have this black, so we set this to black, like so. And we want to have 10 pixels wide, like so. And we can do so. We mark the layer and type, uh, we can't call this black. Black C. Black circle, like so. And then we can do so. We mark the layer and we press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And we can mark the underlay, the layer above, to what we can call this white C, white circle. And we're going to change the strokes to, to white here. And we can also set the width to 5, like so. And we can take this tool here, selection tool, and we can drag it in. If we then hold down shift and control here too, so do we make it perfect smaller? In the center like so and we can do so we are also going to add some glow here we want to have some shininess here from uh, behind this let's see here we can do let's see can we, if we do like so we press t here opacity and can we lower the opacity i think around there looks perfect so we can zoom out yes so we have some uh, glow around circle like so and then now we're going to do another circle here we're going to add another ellipse so we can zoom in again but we have to see here we have to um maybe we can drag this up a little bit we can unselect by pressing outside here so we don't uh, do another circle inside another one so we do so we drag out the new circle from here and we press shift and control here too to make a perfect circle i think around there is fine and here do we want no stroke and we want to have a um, full fill like so and uh, here are we going to uh, add some effects we can begin to uh, rename this layer we can call it um circle. circle like so and we're going to add some effect here we're going to add a um, layer style we want to have an inner shadow open up we can set this to white we can set this to normal we can see here distance i think around there we want to have it from the top like this the lights come from the top i want to have it a little bit softer so we set the size so maybe we can set the distance a little bit less so, I think that's good. 
Maybe we can lower the opacity a little bit. I think around there is good. Zoom out. See? Yeah, that looks fine. Um, now we're going to add some glow behind this. So we can do so. We zoom in again. C2. We press here. So unselect everything. And now we're going to uh, go up here again. And we choose the ellipse tool. And we're going to drag out again here. See? Well, we go and drag out. And we hold shift and control again. And we can drag out the old way. So. And um, here we're going to change the fill. So we're going to change the fill. We're going to have this radial. Like so. And we want to have no stroke. So. We're going to change the color here. We can set this color to. Um, yeah. This bluish. Like so. And we can do the same for this. Same blue here. And here um, is it already set. But we want to have this uh, to um, zero here. If you have it to 200. So do you just drag it down to zero. Like so. And then can we go in here. And we're going to um, fix this tool here. So we can see this um, tool here. So we can drag this out. So we can set the gradient. Here we want the gradient to stop or drag it out like so. I think that looks fine. So we can call this uh, mark it and press enter and we can call it glow. So we can collapse it. Now we want to have this below the circle. So we drag this down. So I think now we begin to uh, get somewhere here. That looks fine. So uh, now we're going to add some more audio effects. So we go to the audio and we can uh, mark this and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And we can rename this. We can call it um, audio line. Like so. And we are going to go in here and we're going to um, remove the radial blocks. So we can mark it and um, delete it like so. We can go up here. We're going to change some things here. We're going to remove the color. So we can set this to zero. And we're going to set this to white. And set both to white. See? So. And we are going to um, set this to the A side. As we want it to be on the inside. And we also want to lower the thickness here. We can set it to one. We're going to see here. We're going to add this set to lines like so. And we're also going to add some um, echo here. So we in now and type echo. Like so. And we drag this down to audio line. And we're going to set echo to numbers to two. Let's see. Maybe we have to like so we can lower the glow quite low like so we can see oh three maybe let's see how that looks yeah not so bad i think that's good so um we are satisfied there. Now can we do so? We can um, mark this and we can duplicate it. Control D, duplicate it. And we can uh, call this uh, audio dot dots like so. And then we go in and change here. We can set this to dots like so. And we need to change the thickness, I think. Let's see if two is enough. And we can mark the layer and press R to rotate. We want to rotate this layer down here. No, I want to have this a little bit thicker. So we test thickness 3. Yes, that's much better. So let's see how does that look. Yeah, that looks fine. That's really cool. Um, now what do we have to... Um, I want to have animate this uh, center point too. So it looks like, um, what we say, a speaker that moves. 
so we can do like so we are we can do like so we drag this up so we can see a little bit more and we're going to take the circle like so and we can but we can begin here we now that we have to enable um, the sound for this layer we're going to uh, do like so we're going to keyframe and we're going to uh, convert audio to keyframes so now does it build a layer with all the keyframes for the sound so we have this new layer here we can press u to uh, see all the keyframes and now we're going to connect this circle to um, these um, numbers here and we can mark it and press um, s for scale and now we're going to connect this to one of those sliders so we can drag this to the this slider here like so so let's see how that looks <laughs> We can disable the sounds we don't have that like so it's a little bit too small i want um, it not to move that much but we can fix this we can um, double tap here so we can see what it did add here here do we need to add some um to this line we can divide this by let's see three and then we add some um we may set the minimum here so we can set um left brackets and we can type 80 comma uh, 80 so we set the height and width the minimum like so let's see how does that look yeah that looks fine that's perfect we can drag this down and we can uh, remove this title safe and we can disable that so now that we have this and we're only running in half resolution in full resolution there's not so big difference but it looks much cleaner now so um now that we have this animation here that was all for today guys and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i have other cool stuff coming up so don't forget to subscribe and if you like the music so can you always go to artlist i use them for all my music and sound effects i uh, drop a link below so you can find it easy Bye for now guys, it's time to say, over not.